Fabulous Over 50 YouTube channel. How are you? Hope you're well. So I want to discuss some things with y'all. Maybe y'all can help me make a decision about this travel trip that I'm about to take because I'm definitely taking a trip. I thought about it. I'm actually going to do it for my birthday in August because that'll give me a chance to get my residency stuff together and solidify. Uh, and also it'll be a great trip. So this is the last of the wine I am drinking. And don't even ask about why it looks the way it does, but it is called Eddie Comfort. And it is a Ghanaian wine made with cocoa, cacao, cocoa, and hibiscus. And this is the last of it. So I don't have a wine glass. So I'm enjoying my little hiatus uh, off of kind of work and just living a fabulous life. So let's drink for a little bit. Okay, so I did a lot. Say I call it Morocco Air Morocco. So we got some information that I want to share with y'all and I want you to help me to figure out and I want to reveal some stuff that I didn't even know inside of me. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you about it. So I wanna go, I wanna go on my birthday. So first of all, I wanna tell you that. So yeah, I called the company. This the, the, I got I'm getting great customer service here. You know, I stuff and put the price and it'll you know, people can get in touch with you and buy. So I found another source. Um, but I'm also doing business a lot with Ghana businesses through WhatsApp, which is actually the customer service has been excellent. So Green, which is the organic uh, food company. You know, vegetables, fruits, actually they sell you from chickens. So there was a list and they give you other vendors that they're kind of affiliated with that sell stuff. So there's a woman that sells organic, no sugar, dairy survey so it's pure either she has orange pineapple mango papaw and uh i think and, and another one that actually has dairy is ice cream so i got in touch with her and i'll be here at the farmer's market on saturday i ordered some um some papaw uh ice cream oh, no sorbet as well as there's no sugar no dairy um uh, sample a little bit of orange and also mango so I'm going to have ice cream, so bad for days. I called the Ohene, Ohene Coco uh, company, and I got, I ordered four bottles of wine, two reds, two whites, because I'm about to have a dinner party. I'm going to tell you about it. And the Afro Central Group Design. I got to get together to help me get it together. I'm thinking about having it. this room. It's going to be small. I have a Monopoly and Scramble, Scrabble, so we'll be playing those games, but I also want to set up the table, conversation. I'm going to do world foods. I have a sister that said that she was a vegan chef, so I'm going to see what she can get up going for me. And it's going to be beautiful because, you know, this is new to me. I'm stepping into new me. So, uh, so, yeah, so I ordered my sorbet. I ordered my wine. It'll be delivered on Monday. My sorbet, I'm going to actually pick it up because I picked up my vegetables on Saturday. Anyway, I'll put it up the read the voice center. So, I'm, I'm, this is me. I want the best fruits and I want the best sorbets out of that fruit. I want the best wines and I want the best organic fruits and vegetables because why not? I learned this. I learned this. That accident helped me out. So, anyway, I said, well, let me call. I want to roll. Let me call. It's called, I call it, call it Moroc Air, but it's called Air Moroc. And so, if you remember, uh, before the pandemic, I had scheduled to after finish, and I finished traveling two weeks to Ghana, we'll go back home for 10 days, and myself and my good friend, Renee from North Carolina, will go off to a place called Agadir, and we're going to go for a two, whole, a whole two weeks, which is really a long time for a vacation, I'm telling you it is. Unless it's Ghana, then it's not long enough. And we chose Agadir because it was the first was off the coast, so it's right on the water, and it wasn't as hectic as, as Marrakesh, which I kind of heard some not so good things about Marrakesh as far as black women traveling solo to. And plus, the sister recommended it that we had an Airbnb, but of course, we got our money back as soon as the pandemic hit. Anyway, I knew I had a credit, and I had a credit for about 800, let's say 56 US dollars. So I called Barack Air and I called the Ghana Accra office because they actually leave here from Accra, yes. So when I got the credit, the credit said you could change the destination, you can change where you leave from and where you leave and go to. The credit is good for anywhere Air Barack. Air Barack travels. It's like, yes, okay. 
go. They travel a lot of places. The Gambia, Cameroon, Nigeria, Angola, Brazil, Cape Verde. Well, I was really thinking about Cape Verde. Cape Verde was very hot on this. But I know Cape Verde is kind of small, so I was thinking about it. I was, I was really, I mean, I'm still thinking about it. But what I noticed and I saw and I knew this was going to happen. So he said, so I said, well, what if I decide to continue to travel to Agadir? Which I don't think I really want to. I don't think I want to go to Morocco. I don't feel that right now I mean, when I really think about it. I said, what about Agadir? He said, uh, Agadir would be, it would be, he said it would be more going to Agadir. Like the money that I have would not cover. I would have to add something to it. I was like, wow. Like going to Morocco, in Morocco, I would have to add. So it's like from here to it would be from Accra to Casablanca, which is, he says, about four hours, and then one hour from Casablanca to Agadir. So it's five hours. That's fine. That's like going from the East Coast to the West Coast or vice versa in the United States. So I'm good with that. That's, I can do that. So I was like, oh, but it would be more. He said, how much more? He said, I don't know. We have to decide if you just come in. You know, it depends on the day and the time and all that. I was like, okay. So I was like, well, I, you know, I know you're going to be shocked. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. I don't really know. But I was pleasantly surprised. They go to Paris, France, too. Now, of course, going to Paris, France is cheaper. How do you set this up? So going from an African country to an African country is more expensive. And you can't tell me how much more. And I don't want to spend more than I already have, that I already have in credits. I don't want, I don't, because you already got to spend when you get there. You got to find a place to stay, like, and buy food. And no, you know? So, I do say I'm never gonna go to Europe, never gonna go to Europe. The only European country that I ever wanted to be in, and I actually, I hope I would call this brother that I know, an African from the Congo, because I'm gonna hang out with some of the Africans. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to Paris. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Paris, oh my God. First of all, it's gonna be less expensive, well, at least the, the travel. I know that the money and staying there, I'm not gonna stay home for like four or five days. I just wanna see where like the Joseph, I wanna see the Black Paris. They actually have a tour. I saw it somewhere. I'm gonna go check it out. And it's called the Black Paris Tour. And I could probably hang out with those folks for at least three or four days. I mean, I don't know, like, experience the real Dr. Hannah. I was able for all of the four or five days that I stayed, or maybe longer, I was with them every single day on tour. Because they had several tours. So I'm hoping that experience the Black Paris is actually several tours as well. And I can give me a chance to brush up with my friends. <laughs> Yes, we oui, we. Oui. <laughs> uh, so yes, Uela, Uela Saliban, Uela Saliban. Where's the bathroom? Uela Maison. Where's the house? Uela, Uela Plage. Where's the beach? Uela, I think it's Plage. I'm not sure. Where's the beach? <laughs> Uwe, Uwe. Bonjour, bonsoir. Anyway, I need to practice, but I want to go. I think I'm. Go, I think I'm gonna go to Paris. I think because it's so out and it's so not and it's so. Cause I would see. I would go to Gambia because I could visit my friends in the Gambia, which I would like to do. Cause you know it'd be nice. But to be honest, I think I actually want to go to Paris. That has always been the only European country that I ever thought I would want to go to. It used to be one of them, but Paris for sure. And like I'm telling you, I'm going to go check out. But I, if somebody knows about it, let me know. I could have sworn. I know I heard somebody talk about it through my travels. The black, there was a black travel group. There was a something specifically. It was a company that did the Black Paris tour. Is anybody familiar with the Black Paris tour? I think it would be great. Like, I'm going to allow myself to eat baguettes and drink wine and enjoy my freaking life and go to markets and uh, go to see the fashion. Yes, I hang out with the Africans and go see the fashion. Like, I need something to throw me in something. I need to see that newness and, uh, and all the expats that's there. So, since Paris, he said, oh, yeah. He said, oh, yeah, because I asked him, he said, oh, yeah, Paris would be cheaper. Paris would be cheaper. You would probably have some money left. And it's probably closer, too. I mean, because, yeah, it's probably closer. It's probably closer. It's probably like, I cried to Paris. I could see that being pretty quick, pretty, 
because you have to see. So I, well, this is our fear. So they set it up so the Europeans can go back and forth to the continent. Do, do you not think this too? And it makes it hard for you from the states if you got to come through Europe, but it makes it easy for the Europeans to come because I know going from here to UK, and it probably could be even less. I know it's about five to six hours. So I'm hoping that going to Paris is somehow another route and it's just closer. I don't want to do more than five hours on the plane, but I'm you know. Now, depending on how much this is, I'm going to see if they have a hotel that they can include. I'd rather stay at a hotel in Paris uh, that they can include in the price because a lot of times they have that. So I'm going to see how much I can save and see if I can make it. If the hotel's paid for and the flight's paid for because I already paid by the ticket, then if I can go there and it's just like four or five days, and I could just see all the tours, go on the tours for the five days. And I go back to the airport, come back. I think I'm gonna go to Paris. I think I'm gonna go to Paris. And yeah, that's what I think. What y'all think? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have a wine glass. It's so improper. I know Paris will laugh at me. But I do, I wanna see Josephine, Josephine Baker did and was. I wanna see, I heard it's a great tour. I heard it's a dope tour. And I think I would get that, like, I love traveling. I think it would be so new, be out of the norm. Because I know, like, somebody else is, like, one of the West African countries, like, kind of similar. So I'm already in a West African country. I mean, I live in a West African country. And there's a lot of West Africans. In, and like I said, I have a friend named Noel. I'm going to see if I can get in touch with him through some avenues that I know. Uh, because he's there a lot. And maybe he can, like, help me out. I gotta try to think if I know somebody other African that I know in Paris, but I am I know some people in the Bay. Like I, I know people that know people, and I think it could be a really wonderful experience. And it, like I said, it allowed me to talk to French, and it would be great. Like I think I'm going to Paris, friends. What do y'all think? I'm gonna. So anyway, I gotta go to the office um, because first of all, this let me see today is what. So this next week, I want to get in touch with people at the beach house who's going to help me officially get the residency which doesn't take long so we're in june i don't really want to go to paris to august although i think everybody leaves in the summer the real parisians so i don't know but we'll see about the tours i bet the tours will be live and that's good everything won't be so crowded i don't know i might like it quiet just me in a cafe chilling you know so uh i think i'm going so what y'all think that's the one that came up because they're uk but no I, i've been to uk and i don't want to go to uk i want to go to paris and from Paris, I know you go back from the UK, but I don't even want to go to the UK. I just want to go to Paris. So, what are y'all thinking? Hey, Autumn. Hey, Beverly. Hey, Whitney. Sonovia. Dietra. There's a lot of background noise. Hard to hear. Oh, I'm sorry. It's her fan. Oh, is it my fan? Okay. I'll cut off the fan. Thank you for telling me, Sonovia. Okay. Thank you. Wow. She would, yeah. Yeah. My daughter loved Paris. She said the African food in Mark. Yeah, I heard the African. I had a friend. My one. She was actually my best friend. Her name was Jamila Sabri, and Jamila had. Uh, she was very good like, in languages, and she was in Stanford University in California. But she had a study abroad program in Paris, and she said that was one of her greatest fun times. And she said, with the food, you know, she didn't really like the, the, the European food. She said the Africans saved that she had the greatest time ever her friend she came back it was just beautiful so thank you for that oh sure i love you for that yeah so she's at the africans too i'll put a link in from black okay the black paris give me some thank you darling thank you go to be soon find out when in fact yes i'm thinking that too alma the link is an article about little africa in paris oh that sounds good too i always want to go to paris go ahead beverly that paris trip will be nice yes where all your fashion take striking and, and a strike oh that's a good point it's a way to promote my business i'm totally feeling y'all i just it just like it was just boom it's just like it was right there it just came it's like no why don't you go to paris and that's why as i said because i look i mean they go to a lot of countries, which is really nice. And like I said, a lot of African countries, but I don't know anybody in the Cameroon. And because uh, I know that's where my people are from, but I want to go in there with more of a little more, you know. And then I don't know anybody. Let me see if I can make this low. Let me put it way over here. And then I don't know anybody. I know somebody in the Gambia, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the Gambia. I didn't really feel like I want to go to Gambia. And what else? I'm not going to Nigeria because I, I know as a solo traveler, it's probably not the place. 
And plus, I'm in West Africa, y'all, so I already know that. Like, I, I, and I always wanted to go to Paris. So I'm going to go down to the office, and I'm going to check on the dates. I'm going to check on the price. I'm going to see how the expenses they make it. And I'm going to travel with my U.S. passport because that's what I have. Even when I have residency here, it's not like a passport. It just allows me to come back into the country without a hassle. Because, uh, but I'll, I'll be, I'll have residency, so I'll, that's not going to be a problem. Like it's easy. I mean, it's easy to still know the right people and get them the right amount of money. That's it. I'm mad. I'm just saying. This is what's up. Like I'm just kind of telling y'all. I've been here for one year. Um, over a year, I live here with an address. That's so all you got to have an address. You don't have to live here a year. I got no people that got it was here for two or three months. You just got to pay somebody that goes and advocates, and that's it. And my, the people in that the beach house already told me, we got you. It's not a problem. You got the money. We can go down there and get your residency. Boom. And the reason why you want your residency is because you don't want them to say, oh, it hasn't been 30 days. Because, see, I want to be, I, I don't think I can live in Paris. Not, it's because the euro is more than the dollar. And, yeah. So, I want to go to Paris. And I'm going to Paris. It looks like I'm going to Paris. Because I definitely... I don't know, like, I know Morocco. No, so let me talk about Morocco. So that's the deal. Now, Morocco was one of, I think, the first people to close, and Morocco now is one of the last people to open. They're not open officially yet for international traveling. It's not till sometime in June. So they're not even ready. Like, they're not, he told me that. I, I saw it online, I saw the call. So that's another thing. They're not open. As of today, they're not open for international traveling. So I'm figuring that the, the, what do you call like this? The stipulations are going to be strict. I figure it's going, to, and I don't need a strict. I don't because I'm not coming from a strict place. I need I need somewhere else. So I'm hoping Paris is not like. Well, Paris is open. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I didn't look it up, but I'm pretty sure he didn't tell me Morocco's not. Morocco's not yet. It's not for international traveling. So I don't. I'm not going. I'm not going there for that. I'm not going for the headache. And I particularly don't actually. If I could help it right now, I gotta be in the mood for that. I don't know if I want to go to a, a very Muslim country at this point. I, I mean, I, I got, I got that right here. I got Christian, Muslim, and I, you know, it's all good. But I want to go to Paris. So yeah, so you, so you said you put in the black tour. I'm gonna look again too, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put it in on Black Travel Movement because I'm a part of Black Travel Movement, at least the Facebook page, and see because I'm almost sure somebody said that there was a black. Paris tour, so we'll look for it as well. And uh, but I thank you so much, got to be sure. I appreciate you. Yes, Paris is more open now. Yeah, okay, so thank you, Paris. Yes, you're gonna be the next Josie Baker. They're gonna adore you in Paris. Oh, I, I feel like it. Yes, I feel like it. Thank you. I feel like like that is. I'm about to have fun. I can practice my little bit of French. I can study before I get there. I can eat, drink, and be merry. Like I know it's like that. I just think it's going to be all the way live. And I need something different. You know, it's interesting. Uh, saw this. We are still waiting for an official no TAM. But France has announced and formed that it will be reopening its borders to vaccinate. Oh, no, I can't go. So they said to vaccinated travelers. No, I can't go. Sorry. Okay, well, Paris is out. Thank you. Paris is out. I thought it was at least a, just you have to have the test. So really, they're not going to just only vaccinate it, not like the test? Wow. That's interesting. That's interesting. I'm not going. Well, okay, that's the end of that. I'll check it out for sure. That's the end of that. We're not going to Paris because I'm not vaccinated. I'm not going to get that. I'm not, we're not going to do that. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't much travel in the world. Uh, but to do more research, I just sort of, okay. But they said, wow, why do you got to say that? Why do they don't say, like, COVID negative too? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's messed up. All right, well, Paris won't be seeing my black behind. Okay, so now let me go back on the list. Honey, there's a lot on the list. There's a lot on the list. We won't be going to Italy because I know they want you vaccinated, and I'm not even really interested in that. Okay, we got to find out. The one. You know what? I'm, I'm going to go to Cape Verde. See, but that's the thing. See, I, and I got to see how much more because I'm already figuring if I'm going to an African country because, of course, they got straight up Senegal as well which is another French country, a Francophone, I guess they say. I, but I think, I would, I think I'm going to Cape Verde. Cape Verde, I heard, was a quite kind of expensive in general. So I'm trying not to do it too, super expensive. We'll see, maybe I'll just go to Gambia. I got people there already. I might just go to the Gambia. And uh, they, they're vegans. They got a book called Spicy Tasty Vegan. I might just go to the Gambia. 
I want to go somewhere where I'm excited about, though. I, I, I need to feel that excitement in my blood. But if they say vaccinated, then I'm not going to do it. And I'll check it out. I'll, I'll further check it out, though. Thank you, Joanne. Yeah, if they, I'm not going to do it. I mean, this place I'm not going. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah, let me know. Let me know. Let me know, because I, I want to know. I mean, I would hope that they would not, that would cut them out of a lot. I know a lot of people getting it. I would think that they wouldn't do it, but I guess if they're so nervous and they, they bought out, how, how far did they, you know, sell out, right? So we'll see. Let me know, because I really am excited about going to Paris. I need some, like I said, I feel like I stepped into a new man. I just, there's something there for me, even if it's just, some, you know, intellectual conversation or meeting people from different cultures, even though they're African as well, or just seeing different things, just having a different experience. I feel like when I think about Paris, I think about it's very indulgent. And I feel like as a person who's very strict, strict diet, strict spirituality in a sense, I mean, there's some strictness in my life, let's be honest. I feel like Paris would be the opposite of me. And I tend to travel to places that I can indulge a bit. And I will go off my, my diet a bit. I mean, we're not getting no meat, but I would eat the baguettes and I would drink the wine and I would, you know, I, I want to go somewhere where it would be a little different. And then I did want to see the fashion. Because, of course, like many of us from the diaspora, we want the African clothes or the motif, but we want that very American style. I mean, very European kind of sense style. I would love to see, and I would love to see what the black people are doing there, because a lot of people tell me the black folks was all the way live in Paris as well. Uh, because they were easing up on travelers due to fear of possible blood clots for those who took it. Yeah, okay, thank you, that's good to know. That's good to know. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna keep it, you know what? Thank you, Natch I'm, and John too. I'm gonna keep the, the, the hope alive. I'm gonna keep hope alive, because I really wanna go. And it's cheaper. <laughs> I mean, I got a credit. I don't want to pay more than I put on. I, I want, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to get some change back. I'm trying to get a hotel with this too. I'm trying to do that. But I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna look it up and I'll keep track because I won't be going to August. I'm just thinking like it's my 54th birthday, and I want to do something epic. And so I'm looking for it. Unvaccinated tourists will be allowed to enter France for non-essential reasons as well. Oh, thank you. That's excellent. Okay, good. That makes sense because that's a bit harsh, I think. Uh, just read it. Okay, on Google. Okay, good. Yeah, I think it's a bit harsh just to, you know, do that. Like, I'm going to take the test. So I'll take the test and I'm going to be good because I already know. And uh, I cry to Paris. I kind of go together. I'm going to Paris. We are going to Paris. Thank you. Yes, we're going to Paris. We're going to Paris. That has been a dream. Now, this is what, the, this is what I really want. I'm going to call my daughter because I would love my daughter to meet me in Paris. So I'm going to tell her to check out the flights. I'm going to do this. Gonna get off. Check out the flights from Paris to, from New York. I'm sorry, she's from Cali. From Cali, San Francisco. San Francisco to Paris. And that would be so to be in Paris with my daughter. Oh my God. I'm going to Paris. And guess what? I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to fully fund. Oh, I don't have no credit cards. So it's going to be half the funded. On it's going to have to be funded on cash. I'm going to create a fund for the Paris fund. Because the only way I say that is because my ticket may be paid for, but my daughter's is not. So I got to pay hers. So I'm going to see if she really wants to go and if we can hook it up. And we'll meet in Paris. She can go back to the U.S., I fly back to Ghana, Ghana, and we're good. So I would love to take my daughter. But if, it's, if the income don't, you know, hold that weight, then uh, we'll just go by herself. But I really would love to go with my daughter. I really would love to. And I know she would love to as well. Yeah, wouldn't that be beautiful? So thank you, ladies. I just wanted to let you know, it is Paris. I'm going to Paris. I'm going to Paris. I'm very excited. Now I'm going to go on YouTube and Google Black Women in Paris. It was this great little, like, um, it's like a YouTube kind of series. It was these three black girls uh, in Paris. I don't know. I think the last video probably was months ago, but it was so intriguing. It was so intriguing. It was, like, dope. It was, like, I mean, fashion, I mean Paris got the fashion 
And I, I'm, I'm about all this life. So I'm going to Paris and I'm bringing my bag. And somebody stopped me on the street. And I want them selling 10 bags orders and shipping them to Paris. Y'all be like, you did the right thing. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love you for that, naturally. Naturally said donations to support via PayPal. If y'all want to help me go to Paris and my daughter, please, I want to go, y'all. Thank you. Honey, I'm putting my coins to the side because your designs are going to be next level. After, after that trip, yes, man, I love you. Mwah, yes. Joanne says there's a lot of info out there regarding traveling to Paris. I checked five sites. Each one says, oh, Lord. Oh, right, because Americans, that makes sense. Huh? That's messed up. Both fully vaccinated Americans, but since you're coming from Africa, it may be different for you. That's a good point. Yes, just getting on, you can have some pre-orders on the site. Exactly. But, Joanne, that makes sense, what Joanne is saying. Because, y'all, no offense, you Americans. I'm sorry because, you know, I ain't, been in, I ain't been in America for the whole pandemic. Uh, they are stricter with America. Now, I understand Joanne specifically talking about Americans. That's true. Let me see what happens if I tell them that I'm coming from Ghana and I've been in Ghana for the last year. And actually, when I have that residency, they can see I'm a resident of Ghana. That could, that could change even though I'm traveling from a, um, with an American passport. Because Ghana, even though you're a resident, that's the first step into getting your citizenship. So passport warrant, I don't have that residency, just means I can go home, I can go back and forth, I can go everywhere I want, and Ghana's going to let me in. And in other words, it means... I don't have to say, oh, your visa expired. Like, it won't expire. So, but Joanne, that makes more sense that you're reading about traveling as an American going to Paris, which I am technically an American, but I've not lived in America for over a year. So let's see how that works. I'll go explain it to the guy. So that sounds really good. So thank you for that. Oh, yeah, and thank you so much. Naturally, he said it another way, too. Uh, Mel says, yes, just get it on. You can have some free oil. That's right. Or, and, and no, naturally say, if you just don't feel like you want to just give some money, you could actually buy an item, and that would help me get to return all the fashion. He said, yes, naturally. You are correct, Joanne. Okay. Take your scalp outfit to wear. Yes, Alma, you're right. I bet you five bucks is different from you. For you, African ladies, it's Joanne. I love it. True, Joanne Mel says, Americans, I know. If you are still on and you came back on and you got an indication that I'm here, so listen, if I don't go to Paris, because now I'm, now I'm really on the black travel movement. I was just on right now. And I left, I posted a question about uh, traveling to Paris this summer. Is there a black travel movement, like tours, I mean black uh, Paris tours? Uh, so I, I did that. And I also uh, asked if uh, traveling, what was the hassle? What are, the, what are the stipulations during the time? So I'm going to put that, I put that question there. So hopefully I'll get an answer from that. I uh, hope I get an answer from that. So, because like I said, because I, then I'm thinking Egypt. And I know some people like, Egypt, not good solo travel. No, I just heard that Egypt is great solo traveling. Just get you a tour. And you get to you get to ride. So I'm into tours now. Like, I'm that girl now. Like, I want to have organized tours where people actually pick you up. And I go to, they have camel riding, uh, the Giza. Uh, going up the Nile, like I, I will pay for all of that. Like I, I want that. I really want that. So if we don't do Paris, because I, I, I'm saying all this to say that, I noticed that uh, Air Morocco goes to Egypt, which makes a whole lot of sense to me. It goes to Egypt as well. So I would do Egypt. I, I would do, I, I've always wanted to go to Egypt. And I can have somebody that takes me to the, inside the pyramids. Oh, wait a second, the pyramid bag. So if Paris does not work, I will ask them about Egypt, and I'm, I'm about that Egypt life. Like, and I was just watching, look, going into my travel, black travel movement, uh, at, you know, group, and people have a good time. There's, there's tours. I think, you know, for me, what I noticed, if I, did, I noticed especially Kata Hanna told me a lot about tours. You do the tours, you're good. And, you, and don't feel like doing the tours is going to make you like, oh, you're not living like the locals. Listen, I live like a local. I am a local. <laughs> I'm a local local. <laughs> I mean, I'm already doing that. I'm already doing that in Ghana. Like, I'm living like a local, okay? I lived in DR for almost three months. I was living like a local. Kind of, yeah, yeah, I was. So I, um, I've had that living like a local experience, and I'm going to tell you, both is good. It depends on what you want. I, but when I went to Cartagena, Colombia, that's when I was living like a tourist. 
And as far as, okay, I was living in an Airbnb, so there was some local mentality to it, but going on the tours, I, I like that. You, so you get to see the places, you get to take the pictures, and you get to have an experience, because everybody, I mean, you bring your own self to these experiences, so therefore you will have it. Let me know if anybody is still here. I am so sorry. Uh, you might be off, but yeah, I didn't notice it was going to go back, because it didn't at first. So I'm seriously, I would do Egypt. And I'm, I don't know if Egypt, Egypt would probably be just as expensive as Morocco because it's both, hey, thank you, hey, Emily. Because they're both, uh, they're both Africa still. And Morocco is Northern Africa and Egypt is as well. But I would do Egypt. You decide to go to Morocco, do not go alone. No, I, I, don't, I don't think I agree with you. I don't think I want to do Morocco alone, but I would love to do Egypt and do the tours. I, I would love to do Egypt. So Paris or Egypt is where I'm going. And I, like I said, I would do Egypt. I just was on the Black Travel Movement. And all these people had these pictures and they talked about the camel tour, which I saw people do. And you go on the camel, you get to see all the pyramids. I mean, like you go on a tour, tours are cool because they pick you up from the hotel or wherever you are, I'm gonna be in a hotel. They take you to the tours, usually they all day, usually food is included. Most places cater to vegetarians as far as they always have a meal for you. This happened to me in Colombia, so I could see it. I thoroughly enjoyed my time in Colombia because um, every day I was on the tour. And the one day that I didn't take the, the um, experience, the real Cartagena, which is the Black Cartagena tour, I actually found my own tour on Airbnb, and it was I learned a traditional Colombian meal and they would have vegan options and I got to go to a woman's house and her mother and we actually made our own dinner and we drank Colombian beer and we had the best conversation and we were speaking in Spanish and English and it was fabulous. That was a fact because every other day I was on the tour and I think the one tour I didn't go on was like a tour of something that in Colombia that I knew that I wasn't going oh it was Palenque. Palenque was twice. And I, I saw it once, so I didn't want to see it again. So I, I and that's another thing too. I can always find an Airbnb. They have their tours, uh like, you know, walking tours, eating tours, stuff like that. So I I'm gonna do tours. And I realize even if I go to Agadir, I would do a tour as well. But I'm not as hyped about Morocco as I am about Paris or Egypt. Because each of these, I will be inspired, and Paris, I will be totally inspired. So I really want to go to Paris. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm open. I'm open to whatever. Like, I'm going to literally go down to the office they told me. It's near the airport, but it's not at the airport, the, the um, Air Morocco office. And I'm just going to go down there. I'm going to go uh, next, let me see, Thursday? Maybe I'll go Thursday. I'll go this Thursday. Yeah, this Thursday would work. Because I'm getting a massage Wednesday. So Thursday, I might go to the office and just sit and talk to them and see what my options are and which one looks better, which one has the best package. Because I really want to go to one of them. I want to I wanna have, I know it's not the 55th birthday, it's, only, it's the 54th, but it's a birthday. And you, you saw another one. And, you know, God willing, I may I do mine. God blessings, I'll see it. So I, I want to I be in another country. And I want to be in a country that feels different than Ghana. Did you go to the Volta region already? No, I haven't gone to the Volta region. But no, I will go soon. I mean, I'll go, uh, well, if I'm gonna save up for my real trip, which is now a real trip, Paris or Egypt, then I'm gonna save every single dime. So I'll go to the Volta region when I come back. So I live here, so I'm not, I'm not as, ex I'm not saying I'm not as excited, but I'm gonna say I'm not as excited. I'm just gonna say that. I'm not as excited about going anywhere at this point here because I live here and I can go there anytime. I'm talking about traveling internationally. So I want to travel internationally and I want to have a different experience. And I want to, you know, it's funny, like I know y'all wouldn't believe this because, you know, sometimes, especially if you're not here, but I remember I was talking to Stephen, who's a Ghanaian that was, went to school in London, England and came back here and been here now for 10 years. And he talked about the different places he went. He went to Nigeria, I think Cote d'Ivoire, which is Ivory Coast, maybe one or two other places in West Africa. 
He was like, no, I'm good. That's all I would like to go in West Africa. And he said, now I would like to go to the U.S. And he had to go to some other country. He was in the U.K. And I think that there's a very much of a, every country is different, but there's some similarities, of course, I think, in traveling throughout West Africa. So it's different when you live in West Africa, then you want to try something new. So either it would be, so e I'm sorry, I also talk about Egypt. Egypt is in East Africa, so that, hopefully that'll work for me. So I feel like I would either want to go to East Africa or I would want to go to North Africa if I felt like, but I actually don't want to go to Morocco at this point. Um, and it's such a blessing. I mean, how many times do you get an airline that says you can use the, the airline credit to wherever our airline travels? It's almost like a blessing from the heavens. You know what I'm saying? Like the heavens is like, you don't, I know you thought you was going to Morocco. And obviously you wasn't going to Morocco because they halted that. So now you could actually choose. And when I saw things on the list, like I would, Cape Verde, I would totally want to go. Cape Verde, for sure. Cape Verde for, for freaking sure. Cape Verde, Paris, and Egypt. Those are the ones. Yes, travelers love to travel all over the world. That's me, yes. So I'm thinking Cape Verde. Uh, I saw that on the list. But I remember Cape Verde was quite, I have a friend that she's in, oh, what is that part of the United States that a lot of Cape Verdeans are in? Uh, oh my God, I was Rhode Island, Rhode Island. She's in Rhode Island. And she said that Cape Verde is expensive, not just to travel to, but even when you get there. So we're not trying to do that. Paris is expensive too, but I can, I'm going to look up Paris on the cheap and try to do the tours. and Or I'm just going to just know that I'm going to pay the money. You know what I'm saying? So, and I don't think I'll go to Paris again. I'm also going while I'm here. But Egypt, I, I, wanna, I would like to go, or Cape Verde. And it's a long list. But... I feel like you're right. It's so many things to see in Africa, especially in Ghana, that if I want another fix and feel like I want even another culture, then just travel to another part of Ghana and I'll still have, it'll still be West Africa, but it'll be T Tamale or some other part. But I live here now, so I, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I want to go to, Everock does go to the United States as well, if I wanted to go all the way back there, but I don't. Unless I had some business dealings, then I would use the ticket for that. But actually, this is special. I want to go to travel, and I want to go to have a vacation. Paris, number one. I'm going to put Egypt, number two, and Cape Verde, number three. And I, that's it. That's it. Because Cape Verde, I love the music of Cape Verde. I just listened to put that, this uh, compilation, I like a uh, music company called Puto Mayo. I don't know if you know Puto Mayo. Oh, my God. That's where I have my love for like world music. But I, I look like I'm going to Paris. So, listen, y'all. You don't know why nobody need to go somewhere. So, you got to let them go because the spirit is calling them. And I decided that the new me, I'm not going to say things like, I'll never travel to Europe. I'm not going to say it anymore. I'm not going to say, I'll never travel to Asia. I promised myself that. You don't know what is for you waiting for you for that moment. I'm not going to ever limit myself again. I'm changing. I'm changing. Paris was a place I always wanted to go. I used to think I was going to be so fluent in French. I used to love to speak the French language. It's one of the languages that I absolutely love speaking. I love French. I love the language. I'm going to just admit it. You know, so I've always wanted to go to Paris. And I'm trying to say I'm trying to let go of the where I'm supposed to be and where I'm supposed to travel. I think once you get to the continent, after a while you realize you're open to the world and that you should never limit yourself. That black people are all over the place and there's a significant African uh, community in Paris. And as far as a designer, I think it's important to go to Paris. And I was watching something, I was watching actually Tiffany Alice, and she was saying how, you know, as far as her being a speaker and her being in the field she's in as a you know, money woman, that the markets, as far as writing a book, that the markets that you want to would want to get into is, of course, New York, right? So there's certain places that's within your genre, if you will, or certain places in the yeah the the area of expertise that you're in or you want to break into that as a as that you would want to go to. So if you're really going to call yourself a designer, my stuff has to get to New York. And my stuff has to get to Paris. 
And I really thought, I mean, I saw, I thank you so much all of that, that recognized that. I was thinking about, well, while wow, she was talking about being a book writer and getting to uh, New York. And I was thinking, when I heard it, I was like, wow, if I really want to make my mark, I mean, I have an advantage. I'm from New York that my bag would actually do better it would go if, if i want to make it i want to make it in new york we have to have that bag being talked about in new york and those bags being talked about in new york but we also could we have those bags being talked about in paris so just for my whole you know where i'm going and what i'm doing as a business person and i think that i see so much of this in our community how our people stay so locked in because they get caught into that they're going to stay in the communities and really not prosper the way they should and won't allow themselves to go further. And I see a lot of it with our healers. They just play small. They don't really want to take the big stage. And sometimes going to Europe is going to be a part of promoting a business, particularly a business of fashion and design, and going to you know, other places. You know, God is everywhere, and the divine is everywhere, and I recognize that now. To be able to be 53 going to 54 and to, to be able to grow in this way, I know that what I'm saying and speaking to y'all is way different than I've ever spoken before. Something happening in me, y'all. Something very, very beautiful and very deep. You know, when you limit yourself, and those are limits. Limits, I won't travel here, I only travel here, I only support... No, that's, that's not even, that's not good. And I'm not saying anybody here was implying that. I'm just saying that, I was, I'm, you know, I'm talking about international traveling, so that's where I want to go. Those are the places I want to do. And, but the Volta, the Volta is here. I'm going to go to Volta. As a matter of fact, this wine comes from the Volta region. And, uh, you know, I told you that they had cocoa tours. And so I called them about the cocoa tour, and they said that they won't resume their cocoa tours until August and beyond. So I won't be in Paris for long or Egypt or Cape Verde. I will be back. But yeah, I, I, I mean, I think I, I'm, like I said, I'm not saying this to anybody. I'm saying this for myself. I feel like declaring and saying and speaking it, particularly in front of an audience, is like something's happened. That hit on the back, I'm not limiting myself. And I can't. I, I won't go further. My, my bag, my pyramid bag wants to go to Egypt because that's where it came from. Could you imagine the designs that I might come up with just going to Egypt? And for sure on the clothes and designs I'm gonna come with going to Paris, that's gonna change the game. The change the Paris is changing the game. There's no doubt about it on the clothes fashion. But think about it, the, the pyramid bag is based on the pyramids of Egypt, of Kemet. So, and then Cape Verde was just always for the music, that beautiful music. I would love to do that. Like, I'm so right now excited about traveling. Like, I, I almost like, just talking about it, I, I, I forgot how much I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. So yeah, I'm excited. So yes, let's see. Uh, we're here. Okay, yeah, tours are cool, right? Uh, uh, not yet. Travels, yes. Hey, natural. Hey, Omi Funke. Jabril, a passport heavy is a great resource. He has helped Tiffany Alicia go next level. Oh, that's wonderful. I, I, okay, thank you. You. Oh, I, thank you. Okay, I see that reading. I feel it. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. That's that's excellent information. Thank you so much. So yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I'm 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 ready. It's a whole world out here. It's a whole world, and I want it. And I just. I don't know. I like the more I talk about Paris, the more I want to go. But like I said, I would be equally happy with any one of those three countries. Equally. Because it's now it's up to the divine. So I'm going to go, well, it's up to me too, right? Um, so I'm going to go to, but Morocco, I'm not thinking about Morocco. Morocco is all, way off the board. It ain't, no, no Morocco, no Morocco. And even when I thought I was going, I was going for fabric. I don't want that. I want a 54th birthday that is dope. So dope would be Paris. Dope would be Egypt. Dope would be Egypt as far as the way these tours are set up. And dope would definitely be Cape, Cape Verde. Oh, y'all understand Cape Verde. I'm going to play some Putamayo music from Cape Verde right now. 
Verde. Oh, I don't even know what to say. Like, yeah, that's very exciting to me. You know, too, I learned something too that how much I really did love traveling to the DR, Colombia, uh, those two Spanish speaking countries. Because it was, it, I was learning the language. Like, I was, I was learning the language. I was learning the language. And I like that. So, I'll keep you posted. I'm going to have a salad. This is the last of the wine. So, we wound down. So, it was a wind down. It was Tuesday wind down. So, the Wednesday wind down. And I got, I got to share a lot with y'all. I'm not limiting myself to anywhere. I'm going where Spirit tells me. And like I said, if I want to be in a bigger league and I got to go to places where what I do is respected and also inspiring, I need that extra. That's what I've been feeling like about being in Ghana, being in a crowd. It's like, okay, you know what? I need some inspiration. I need some inspiration. You know, somebody had made a good point I wanted to tell you. So they have uh, fashion shows in Accra, of course, I guess, often. And I was watching this show, she was interviewing this uh, Ghanaian designer, black woman. And she said, yeah, you know, like, people are like, oh, when are you going to make, when be in this fashion show, or are you going to be in this fashion show? She said, listen, the fashion shows here don't really work. And she said, the reason why they don't work is, she said, if you just want a bunch of pictures and fashion shows are great. But other than that, what fashion show, what it's supposed to do is, and this is what it does in New York, this is what it does in Paris, it does other places, is that there are store buyers that's in the audience. And after you finish, if they like your thing, they'll go, I want 10 of those, 15 of those, five of those. So now your stuff is actually being bought to be put into a store. But here, there's no place for it to go. So you just have a fashion show, she was saying, with a whole bunch of pictures. So you've got to go. You know, I, again, I always say I have to take, I have to, yeah, I have to take uh, advantage of, I'm, I'm from a place where many, even Africans, would love to have their stuff seen it. It's, it's just that simple. Like, I'm born and raised in New York. Like, I'm from the place where you would want your stuff to be seen and you would want to be. I'm not really an African designer. I'm an African American designer living in Africa. So, I have to take advantage of trying to get out in the world because I had a reading a long time ago and she said, um, I believe that your designs will go past even the folks that's watching you on YouTube. And I, I can see it now. It was just my mind, I was stuck. And I didn't really understand it. And I, I, I'm also, I wanna understand the business and I wanna learn more about the business. I have to get out of this, the little communities that we are all so a part of that, to go big. You know, I was watching Queen of Four and I was just like, yes, Queen of Four is, I feel like she's finally getting her props. She's, you know, connected to Jada Pinkin Smith. She's in the Sauron video. My sister said she was doing uh, her show for Black Girls Rock. Like, yeah, she deserves it. But you kind of got to almost take your mind out of that I'm just serving the Brooklyn crowd or I'm just serving my people because really at some point you become a servant of the world and you still represent your people, but now you represent your people on a global level. And I think that that's the one thing that we have to allow ourselves to expand. Because once, if we don't allow ourselves to physically or externally expand, then we're, all the internal work we're doing would be for naught. It would be for nothing. We have to understand we can't control where the divine wants us to go. We, can, we cannot do it. It's, it's just impossible. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, I didn't just get knocked up in the back. Like I, I got recalibrated. And I started thinking like, wow, all the things that you didn't think you could do or places you didn't think you could go or ways that you, you know, made yourself feel like I got to make where I am work when this is my home, Ghana. I live here, but it doesn't have, I offer everything. I come from a place that offered a lot. You know, I remember even musicians, artists, and other uh, uh, creatives, you know, they would say that, Sometimes they even had to, in order to make it New York, because New York was such a, you know, it's a lot of stiff competition in many genres, especially creative art fields. And they would say that they had to go overseas. 
and then they would come back and be a household name. Jimi Hendrix is a perfect example of that. Many of our writers as well. So it's a whole world and the world is ours. And I don't want to miss opportunities. I want to I wanna play in the big leagues. I'm ready for it. So let's straight to that. Ashe. Yes, I love that. Thank you. Zena says, yep. Hey, Rochelle, good afternoon. Good afternoon. So that's where we're going. Uh, so I'll, let, I'll keep you posted on my three choices. I would equally be happy with anyone. I mean, I, I, I would not be against anyone. But the Paris one, I would like my daughter to come. So I'm going to talk to her now. I love y'all. Thank you for listening. I'm going to go eat some. I ate. I did eat. Don't worry. I'm not just drinking and eating. I did eat, but I need to eat some more because, yeah. And the wine is gone, and it will be delivered. The next batch will be delivered to my home on uh, Monday. You know, another thing I just want to share this with you before I go. You know, one thing that the becoming, uh, breaking the habit of being yourself, uh, Dr. Joe Dispenser and his work talks about, is that you already start living as your new self. So it was interesting that I got online and I said, oh, yeah, I want to order four bottles of this very, I call high-end, organic, natural, local, beautiful wine. That's right up my alley. And then I said, oh, let me call this woman for the sorbet that is sugar-free and dairy-free and just beautiful. And she can meet me at the W.B. Du Bois and let me get my great vegetables, you know. Um, and then, uh, so I'm... I'm like enjoying life. Like I'm like, oh, I can have my wine delivered. I can pick up my vegetables. I can have them delivered actually as well. And I wish I will start eventually. I don't want to do it yet because I want to be free and how I go get stuff. But I will start it. And then she said after a while, once I become a, I mean, a customer of hers, I can have my sorbet delivered. And I just thought like, I'm out here trying to live this life. Like I'm living my life. And I'm living it in the best possible way that works for me. That at 53 going to 54, it's no time to try to fit into boxes or try to make yourself, I, I've done that for the first year. And I probably carry some guilt for not living my life or living another life. I'm ready to expand. And as my girl Cheryl said, if you're watching, I'm ready to explore. Love you ladies. I'll see you in the next one. Peace and blessings.